Hey everyone, welcome back to another Beast of the Mesozoic Tyrannosaurus series review. Today we're taking a look at the standard 118 scale Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is the mass produced version. The other 118 scale was the Kickstarter exclusive Dino Riders. And I have to say, I haven't even taken this thing out of the box yet. And I'm absolutely loving this very natural looking color scheme on this Rex. Now this figure retails, I believe they're around... 210 or $220. They're a lot cheaper if you actually back these uh, during the Kickstarter. But I'll leave a link down below to Creative Beast Studios if you want to order one for yourself. They do ship internationally and also Everything Dinosaur uh, does have these figures in stocks if you're overseas and they also, you know, handle international orders. I'll leave both links down below so you can take your pick of where you want to order this figure from. So yeah, this is my third 118 scale rex that i'm reviewing i did the gray one a few months ago recently did the dino riders now i have this one you know i love these big figures but i am dreading reviewing another t-rex figure this big it's an absolute workout uh these big figures look great on the shelves but man uh do they give you uh you know the sweats while you're trying to you know pose these things because they are so heavy so let's pop the camera off the tripod and take a nice close look at the packaging you do have this absolutely gorgeous box art of the t-rex on the front love the huge window box with the beast of the mesozoic logo printed right on the window t-rex on the side tyrannosaur series 118 scale and let's spin this monster box around and take a look at the back we have a beautiful picture of the t-rex figure lots of facts about t-rex i just love the huge packaging on these i end up saving them i just have so many freaking boxes between these and transformers in my basement just glad my wife doesn't go down there uh, too often because of all the reptiles and down here we have the wave one figures uh there's actually two i did not order from wave one i did not get the die long because uh i like uh keep everything 118 scale that's one six scale maybe that won't get uh a 118 18 scale treatment like the raptor series did and then i did not get the standard 135 scale rex it's basically the same color scheme as this one and i already have two 135 scale rex and you know i didn't want another one you know i'm not andy here that crazy sop i love his channel that guy just gets every single figure that's ever made and i respect the hell out of that but yeah um so when these i should probably be getting uh an early review sample of one of those figures uh from the rest of wave one in the near future i know he just received the samples but anyways enough about the packaging let's crack this thing open and take a closer look and here is the 118 standard rex in all its glory this figure is just truly a sight to behold you don't understand how big these rexes are until you actually get one in hand my camera just jumped i think the head's so big it just messes with the focus but uh yeah these things are absolutely massive they're almost four pounds of plastic they're big heavy figures uh, uh to work around with like i've been saying you know to the last couple of reviews uh, i get an absolute workout reviewing these and posing them but uh the color scheme is beautiful it's very natural looking it's actually based off a real life animal it's based off the earless monitor a lot of uh you know creative liberties were taken from that inspiration you know earless monitors just kind of look like lizards you know like they look like turds with uh, bumps on them but they do have blue eyes and i absolutely love the striking blue eyes on this t-rex something about uh, a top predator just having bright blue eyes it just makes them look so majestic and you know this figure is absolutely awesome this one in the dino riders one you really can't go wrong with either color scheme both of them are just so so well done and now for some measurements this figure is a whopping 27 inches long from the tip of the snout to the tip of the tail or 66 and a half centimeters i'll measure it from the hips because the height of the head will change depending on how you have the figure pose so at the hips it's eight and three quarter inches or about 22 centimeters so t-rex in real life was just over 40 feet long or 12.4 meters so i put this figure perfectly in that 118 scale range and just like every current beast of the mesozoic figure you do get a nice collector card featuring that beautiful art that's on the front of the box and then turn it around we get a picture of the actual toy and some information about t-rex and here are all the accessories you get in the box you get a base which actually is two display bases you get the articulated legs and you get a couple different pairs of feet and i just lost one so anyways going on to these articulated legs you do get a bend at the knee these joints are incredibly incredibly tight they actually you know work much better if i actually had it stuck into the thigh of the t-rex and we just pulling on it like a maniac during this review 
you do get some ankle articulation and some side to side feet can move down and up you get some nice side to side movement here's the other side of the feet some nice scale detail on there these are the walking toes and these are the closed uh, toe feet it's more detail on there and then what you want to do if you want to change the feet out just pop the toes off a ball joint let's get the camera to focus in and all that and then you just get one and just push it back onto that joint you should hear it pop into place they take a little bit of work i don't even think i got that fully in on there because i'm so far back with the camera it's just not getting enough leverage and then let's take a quick look at that display base another nicely done base i think the one that came with the walking with dinosaurs is the best looking of the bases so far but you get some nice rock uh, rock detail some nice washes on there bring out all that detail you get some really dark moss with moss moss with uh some nice uh washes on there bring all that detail you get some roots painted in brown you got two metal posts uh, for the feet to plug into and the other side is hollow but you do have this h clip right here that you pop off and it will separate the base so you have some different poses uh, options just remember where you put that little clip so you can reattach it to the base so that's how you're going to keep it all together and as you can see you can get some decent poses using the base and alternate feet it's not as poseable as the 135 the weight of this figure really really works against it but you can get some decent poses with it if you put the time and effort in just don't leave them like that they will eventually fall over trust me i know now let's zoom in and take a look at some of the finer details of this figure started with this beautiful head sculpt that is a very very nice t-rex profile got a lot of colors going on the head you have some rusty browns lots of washes and dry brushes you have some white yellows orange you got blacks There's a lot lot of colors going on here all that ornamentation on the head is done in a bone white color let's take a nice look at the front of the head you got some nice binocular vision with those baby blues staring right back at you know, just like i said love love blue eyes on predators and then opening up the mouth you can see you have a nice get the mouth open up all the way a nice row of teeth that is nicely painted you have a lot of nice details inside the mouth you get some nice dry uh washes in there bring all that detail love love the nasal passages and then going over here let's get the camera to focus in on this you do have the ear canal you have a nice cream stripe starting at the back of the head that goes all the way down the neck mixing in with all that black paint you notice there is some paint damage on mine mine did not arrive like this i had it posed the other night i was taking some pictures i had it in a dynamic pose stupid me i left it like that and it took a header off the table and laid on the floor and scared the crap out of my wife and dog so yes just leave them with the um the solid legs on because i already damaged my figure a little bit i have some paint brushes i will be able to tidy most of this up and then going down to the arms you have very puny t-rex arms those nice sharp looking claws are decked out in glossy black paint just look at all the nice proportionate scale detail all the folds and wrinkles all over the body this thing is absolutely beautiful from head to toe you got a nice barrel shaped chest with some dark orange uh blotches along the back mixing in with all that black going down to the thighs very huge muscular thighs going down to the calves big bulging calf muscles feet are beautifully painted toe claws are decked out in that glossy black paint on the other side you have a nice light coat for the belly a nice wash over to bring out all the scale details on the belly on the other side let's do our butthole check early there is the color wake a slit and then going down to the tail you get some more of that nice rusty orange and black all mixed in and this nice striping pattern all the way down to the tip of the tail so yes a very very beautiful looking figure now for articulation mouth can close completely flush can open up about that far just wish it would open up just a little bit wider you do have an articulated tongue on this one uh, on the 118 the tongue works absolutely beautifully not so much on my 135 scale rex and then in here just one thing i did notice i've seen a couple people point this out online uh it seems like you know the paint did not dry correctly on the gums on some figures so i opened this up it was kind of stuck and i got all that paint wear on the gum so i'm gonna end up touching that up too you know it does happen during production i am not upset about it and then the head can move up 
it can move down a little bit. You know, it's really restricted by the hoodie. The hoodie's been a big talking point of this figure ever since it was announced. And yeah, it does get in the way of articulation. Uh, I do get why David did it, just, you know, to keep that head sculpt all, you know, nice and not broken up. But I really wish there was a different alternative, just to get some more head movement out of it. You do get some side to side on that head joint, but still restricted by that hoodie. Going down to the neck is almost knocking over my masterpiece Transformers with the tail. On the side of the studio, you get some upward downward movement, and you get some side to side on that neck joint. Arms can move forwards, backwards. They can stick out. You get a nice bend at the elbow. Wrists are also articulated. They can rotate that mid torso joint. You get some upward and downward movement. And a little bit side to side. Man, this thing's so heavy. I'm so happy this is the last one, 18 scale Rex. Uh, I will be reviewing. I know we're getting one in Cyberzoic, but David said he's going to release a separate weapons pack for those of us that already bought a 118 scale Rex because I, I don't I don't want another one. I don't know where I'm going to put these things. Uh, the hip rotation uh, articulation can move back and it can move forward really, really well. At the knee joint, get some nice bend at the knee. We already covered the articulated legs and then going down to the tail up, down. And my tail likes to pop off a lot too. Uh, so let's finish this off with just the tail. You get some another joint right here, side to side, side to side, up and down. And then the end of the tail is rubber so you can bend it to different poses. And moving on with comparisons, here it is with the Hammond Collection. Dr. Alan Grant, so it gives you a good idea of how big T-Rex was in real life. These three and three quarter inch figures scale reasonably well with the 118 scale figures. And next up here it is with Rebors 135 Kiss. You know, it's been a great year. Uh, if you're a T-Rex fan, we got a lot of cool figures. Uh, this Rebor one got high praise. Then we have these giant monstrosities from Beast of Mesozoic. So if you're a Rex fan, this year has been really, really good to you. And then over here we have the Rosaurus carnage collection t-rex these are like the you know prototypes uh back in the day of articulated dinosaur figures they were fun but they really weren't that great these blow them away and next up here is the walk with dinosaurs 118 scale taurosaurus and next up here is the adult 118 scale triceratops and these figures look like they're meant to go with each other you know t-rex and triceratops have always been portrayed in paleo media since they'll discover it as rivals and i think these two figures look absolutely fantastic together and next up here it is with the floppy mess that is my hammock collection t-rex the hammock collection rex is a super fun figure it's one of the best things mattel has ever put out but these figures are in two different leagues yes the articulation is better on the hammock collection uh rex we have all these really weird proportions uh because of it these are like Right here, the uh, Beast of Mesozoic ones are like high-end collector uh, figures, but they're both great figures, and they're all both a lot of fun. And lastly, here it is with the Kickstarter exclusive Dino Riders Rex, which is my absolute favorite. Uh, you know, both color schemes are fantastic. You really can't go wrong with either one, but I'm a huge sucker for nostalgia, and I absolutely love Dino Riders come, uh, when it came out. So the uh, Dino Riders Rex is my favorite of all the ones we got in Wave 1. Over here is the 135 walk with dinosaurs and this is my gray 135 that's sent over to the jurassic park compound to repaint repaint into a kenner uh style young rex i do have a gray rex which i was repainting into the kenner red rex and i did not like the way it's coming out and i never finished it and i'm probably just gonna do the whole thing over and just go full chaos effect on it because uh why not why not that's what i'm probably end up doing It'll probably take me a year to finish it because i take forever to repaint anything but anyways here are all the rex figures and now we're going to start moving on to wave one and a half we're going to get the uh baby t-rex and we're going to start getting different species of tyrannosaurs going forward and i cannot wait for death source that's been my most highly anticipated figure in the whole entire line so final thoughts on the 118 scale standard tyrannosaurus rex it's an absolutely beautiful looking figure love the natural paint scheme on there those baby blue eyes are absolutely breathtaking and like i kept saying during these reviews you don't understand how big and heavy these figures are until you actually are holding one even the boxes that they come in are just absolutely massive there's been you know nothing like this on the market i'm so glad they've made these a reality they're truly a sight to behold but you know i am tired of reviewing one day 
118 scale Rex. It is absolute burnout for me. They're really heavy and cumbersome to, you know, handle and pose. Um, I much prefer the 135 scale. That's why I didn't bother putting this one in a dynamic pose at the end of it because I'm just so happy uh, to be done reviewing them. I'm just going to, you know, pick them out once in a while, play around with them, and just enjoy them. And like I said, you know, don't take this as complaining. I'm just speaking my mind right now. They're great figures, and they're 100% worth the price tag. Now, if you want to pick one of these up, I'll leave a link down below to Everything Dinosaur and Creative Beast Studios. Uh, you can, you know, pick up the standard version. They're both in stock right now. They cost around, I think, like $220. Like I said, they're worth every penny. They're really high-quality figures, and you can tell by the paint job and the materials used. These are high-end uh, collectible figures. So that will do it for the review. I got some new Hammond collection stuff coming in. So I should have a bunch of new reviews uh, coming up on the channel. Got some new collect day coming in. So a lot of stuff to look forward to. So that will do it. As always, if you're enjoying the content on the channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously. And it's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.